Ay caramba. Snapshot too old. What is that? Okay, I'll give you the answer first. Then if you have more time, I'll give you the explanation. So snapshot too old happens simply because you have your, seg your rollback segments too small. Okay, now if you have more time, I'll explain. Okay, in order to explain to you what happens and why we get this error, I would like to explain a few things about how Oracle does what it does in the, in the background. So let me ask you a question first. Okay, if we have a table, let's say with column A, and we have a value, let's say five. Now, if you try to, if you make an update of five, let's say to seven, okay? Let's, let's say you're just making an update, okay? That's the situation that you have right now in your transaction. And other transactions will not, will be able, will not be able to see seven, they will see five, right? That's the expected behavior, right? Now, what happens if you make, if you roll back this seven? Then in this case, the rollback is done. And for your transaction and also for the, for the other transaction, you see five, right? Okay. Now, again, if we make this update of seven and we commit, then what happened? What do you expect? You expect to see seven here, right? Okay, yeah, that, okay, we're clear about the expectations. Now let's do this again. So if I'm making an update from five to seven, okay, what Oracle actually does, Oracle actually does the work and makes the update to seven. I'm sure you've noticed, especially on deletes, if you make a big delete, right? And if you do a commit, the commit usually is very, very fast. It takes maybe one second to, com to make a commit of a huge delete, right? But you notice probably if you try to roll back, it takes a long time. Why is that? Because Oracle actually does all the work or almost all the work on the blocks themselves and the change itself is actually done and all that's left is to do the commit once the commit is done the other transactions can see the change okay now what happens when the transactions when if the if the change is done but we're not committing yet that's where the tricky part comes so now let's let's say that somebody made a change here and I'm trying to, I'm doing a select, okay? A big select from some other transaction, which I'm eventually gonna reach here, okay? What do you expect this transaction to see? You expect this, you expect this transaction to see five, right? Not seven right? So the thing is, what happens is the, the update is done actually here, okay? This is the update that's done. And you have five that's written in your undo log, okay? If you want to do an, if you want to, if you want to roll back, Oracle will have to take this five and make the change back to five, from seven to five, okay? So again, when you make an update from five to seven, Oracle actually does the work, okay? And we have the undo log here, which is five, okay? If we wanna make, an, if we wanna make an, a rollback, Oracle will take the five and put it back. Now, 
after we commit this information, this undo, right? It, Oracle will release this so that the space can be reused, reused uh, for other transactions. If let's say more changes are done across the tables, we have a certain number of, we have a certain size to our rollback segment, then, and we usually have two rollback segments at least, so that we can just traverse and keep updating, keep overriding the undo segment, and then recycle back, go back to the other file, and then once it's done, go back here again to the to the first file. So what happens is if you don't do a commit, of course, Oracle is going to protect this data. But as soon as you do a commit, this, this data is no longer protected in the undo. Now, is that garbage? No, it's not really garbage. Is that information garbage? No. Why, why, why is it not garbage? We already committed. We don't need the undo anymore, right? No, we do need that. We need that for transactions that actually started before the commit. See, before you committed, if you started a long transaction, right, that traverses whatever it blocks and gets and eventually needs to grab this information. Now, if you started here before the update was made, then of course you're not expecting to receive the seven. You're expecting to see what happened when the data that you had before. The, at the time when you started the transaction. So that's going to be five. Where do you get this five? You're not going to get it from the block. The block is already changed. Okay. Now that's fine when you, that's fine and dandy when you actually before the commit, right? Because Oracle is going to protect this value here in the undo space. But what happens if you make a commit? If you make a commit, then Oracle cannot protect this data anymore. Well, we, that's usually fine, right? Because we have a lot of space in the, in the rollback segment, right? Okay, so Oracle released this uh, data and it can be overridden, but usually it doesn't happen because you keep writing in other files, right? Let's say, let's say you were here and the data is reading here. It keeps going down until it reaches the end of the file. And then it goes back to the other segment and keeps going, okay? Until it reaches actually here and then overwrites this with whatever data. So where, when, the problem, when does the problem happen? Problem happens if you make a huge select, a huge select that runs a lot for a lot of time. And in the meantime, while you while the select is running and the select hasn't reached this part yet, okay? And your data is making a lot of changes and traversing the rollback segment and reaches this point. And actually overriding this. And let's assume you over overridden that. And now finally your select is reaching the part where it needs to get grab this information, right? So it will go and find the information and it knows that this was changed after you started your transaction. So it knows it needs to go to the to the rollback segment. So it's going to go to the rollback segment and it's going to find out that the data that it had that was there and the data that you need is no longer there then that's when when it's going to break and that's when you're going to get the i caramba the snapshot too old so the 
the quick fixes just <laughs> make bigger rollback segments if you if you're having big selects that take a long time then you need to make sure okay that the rollback segments is big enough this is not the, this is not garbage because you need those you need those you need this information for the for the role for, for this for those big selects okay and another point to make i know you started i know that you started a, a huge select here and oracle cannot know okay that this huge select needs this information you cannot know that in advance so the only time that Oracle is going to protect this information, okay, is before the update and deletes and inserts and updates. It's not going to, it's not going to protect the undo information when you're for selects. Okay, that's the, that's the, that's the gist of it. I hope it was helpful and thank you very much. Have a nice day.